Using just solar to keep your batteries topped up to allow for time off grid can be hit and miss depending on the season and the weather. We used to use a voltage sensitive relay on our AGM battery to charge it while we were driving, but now we've moved to our Roma lithium battery, we know a VSR isn't suitable. In this video, we'll show the install process and how our DC to DC charger performs. So keep watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything campervan and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up, it really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I'd know what you didn't like. So what is a battery to battery, B to B or DC to DC charger? Well basically they do the same job as any other smart charger, having profiles for different battery types but they're powered by DC voltage rather than AC mains. So they can be used to charge a battery in an optimum way from another battery that's being charged by the alternator of the vehicle. They can be used on vehicles with smart alternators and most have profiles for modern battery types like lithium. They are available from quite a few manufacturers but we decided to go with a Sterling Power Products one. As it has a good track record, charges up to 60 amps but seems to be the most configurable in setup from battery profiles to how it behaves with a smart alternator and regenerative braking and being able to control the output. We'll actually be running it at half power as it's currently plenty for us but we can always upgrade wiring and fuses later to run it at the full 60 amps. Connecting them up is pretty simple, requiring positive connections from each battery, with suitable fuses of course. Sterling also recommend negative connections rather than using a common negative for better performance. And in our setup we also have a mains charger to top up our starter battery and mains and solar chargers for our Roma lithium leisure battery. As well as the unit, we need suitable cable, fuses, a step drill bit, grommets, tie wraps, terminals and crimps. In our case, the instructions gave us the types of cable and fuses we needed to use depending on the length of the cable. We're planning to mount the unit under our driver's seat and conveniently we have this access point just to the left of it. I forgot to hit record, but we drilled the hole in the bottom to the size of our grommet using a stepped drill bit. It was then pretty simple to find a route from the starter battery along the wiring loom into one of the cross members using a grommet along the cross member and out again using another grommet and then through the grommet that we'd installed earlier. Then using the tie wraps to make everything neat and tidy. We then got cables to where we need them to be to connect into the B2B. And it will start connecting everything up, but first. This video is brought to you thanks to our friends at Solwise, who are a UK business that bring the best professional products for mobile internet together in one place. Their technical expertise and support of the products they sell, in our opinion, is second to none, and we've been very lucky to try out a number of products from the likes of Teltonica, Pointing and Q Wireless. You can see reviews of these in our videos. We also love that Songwise very kindly give our viewers 10% discount off their already competitive product range, simply by entering ExploreVan at the checkout. So if you're looking for a high quality, professional, yet affordable mobile internet solution actually designed for the harsh life on the road, please check out solwise.co.uk. For our cables that are connecting to our fuses and batteries, we need to add a crimp. We can connect the cables up to the charger 
we can connect the negatives up to the batteries and using a MIDI fuse connect up to the starter battery. For the connection to our Roma Lithium Leisure battery we already use a battery terminal fuse block with 100 amp protection for our inverter and 50 amp for the solar charger, mains charger and new B2B charger. Remember we have it configured for 30 amps. So now we're all wired up and ready to go, let's see how well it works. We've already configured the charger to lithium iron phosphate battery profile and set the output to 30 amps. We can see our 160 ampere hour Roma battery is currently at 58% and we're using just over one amp of power. Now we've started the engine, we can see the B2B charger come to life and it shows the voltage of the starter battery on the left and the leisure battery on the right. Looking at the Roma app, we can see we're getting nearly 28 amps of charge into the battery with the engine at tick over. And once we're driving, it increased to just over 30 amps. And we soon saw the percentage state of charge increase, taking just over an hour's driving to get us back to 100% and the charging shutting off. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.